Okay, so we'll exercise, make sure we're not gonna go to remedial later on in the year. Until we run into, almost click the club. That wouldn't have been good. We don't need club in our life. That's not part of who we are right now. Huh, I guess they're still doing the fireworks for bonfire night this year. It's a good thing I stopped off here on my way home, huh? Doesn't look like anyone I know is around, darn. But I can at least pick up some fireworks cuisine, right? Let's see here. Doop, 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 doop. And that's about as much as I can carry. I guess that's enough shopping for today. Oh, hey, I think the fireworks should be starting soon. Ah, oh, I think bonfire night might just be my favorite night of the year. I really should be getting back, though. We've got exams in a month's time, and I've barely even started revising. Now would probably be a good time to hit the books. Maybe those snacks I bought will give me the brain feel I need to pass. Here's hoping, I guess. That's the hope. Okay, so... We're almost there. Let's see. Exercise. And hang out. Today, today, what should I do today? Um... Yeah, I need to call Lamb, because we're still trying to become friends, so let's try that. Okay, she said yes. Good. Thank you, Lamb. We should be maxed out friends with you soon, right? Whew, just a couple more sentences and I'll finally be done with this bloody report. I guess I'm not the only one with coursework. I get the impression Lamb was here way before I dragged myself in. We've been sitting here in silence for at least an hour, but I guess it's not too awkward. She's pretty engrossed in her work, after all. The head of yours daughter, huh? Makes sense that she'd be dedicated to her studies, I guess. She must be under a lot of pressure, too. Hmm. And finished. Probably not the best conclusion in the universe, but it does the job. And hey, just made the word count. Now to see if I can get it in Magnus Pigeonhole by four. Ugh, why is my bag so bloody heavy? Um, good luck, Lamb. Hmm? Uh, with your coursework, I mean. I'm, you know, gonna go. Hmm. Oh? Huh? That bag. It's a Chevert, isn't it? Eh? Oh, this? Yeah, I really like his designs, and there was a sale on, so... Hmm. And she's working again. Well, that was random. Nice talking to you, Lamb, I guess. Always a pleasure. Let's see. Hang out. Get stuck for some reason. Hanging out. Can I stress go up by two there? I do have my thing on, right? Oh, Mr. Taciturn. Well, we already did Mr. Taciturn's route, so. Uh, hi. And you're kind of a dick, dude. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. Gotta get to my sweet back. One of these days. One of these days he'll be here. Oh, lamb. Come on, lamb. Be friends with me, girl. Oh, uh, hold on. I want to make sure I have my thing on. I do. Hmm, okay. For some reason, I thought my stress was going up unusually high. That's fine. Whatever. There we go. Okay, she said yes. Thank you, girl. Gotta relax. And I expect to see you back by at least 11. And nothing strange in the glove compartment this time. Lord knows how I managed to explain that to your mother. Hmm. I wonder what Mr. Pachaku so worked up about. Yes, Dad. It'll have all four wheels and everything. I'll make sure of it. And no smoking in there either. I know you're old enough now, but that's no reason to ruin decent upholstery. 
The same goes for your brother if you happen to see him. Okay, okay. I'll let him know. You make sure that you do. Can I help you with something, Miss Cheeks? Eep! You seem to be hovering. Having trouble adjusting to North Main life, are you? Oh, uh, no, sir. I was just leaving. Uh, sorry. Well, if you ever need to discuss anything, my door is always open. And you, Lamb. Yes, Dad, I understand. <sighs> uh, sorry about that. You know, for eavesdropping. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's fine. Dad enjoys admonishing me in the corridors for a reason. It's no fun without an audience. Ah, uh, uh, it must be tough having your dad teach here, huh? It has its ups and downs. Oh. Is she always this talkative? Anyway, I should go. My brother's bringing the car around, and I'm sure he's as impatient as ever. Oh, you have a brother? Mm, he's at university, but uses the inordinate amount of free time he's given to hang around here, which I suppose is useful for some things. Like being your personal valet? I gotta admit, I'm jealous. Hmm, perhaps. I'll see you later, Rosie. Uh, yeah, see you. Hmm, an older brother, eh? I'd like to meet him without the mask, if you know what I mean, girl. Introduce me, please. Oh, Lamb. You're all dressed up. Where are you off to? Nowhere in particular. Just shopping with some friends. Ah, cool. I really like your outfit anyway. Mm. If you have a change of clothes, you can come along if you want. Eh? Really? I gotta check something real quick. Okay, I have until January. I thought maybe this is when Beck offers me a job, but it's not for another couple of months. Although, I do need to work on getting my charm up high enough by then. Uh, sure. I mean, I'd love to, Lamb. Sorry for going off into notes land. Wow, thanks. Uh, are you sure your friends won't mind? Why would they? Uh, no reason. You know, Lamb, you can be a little difficult to talk to sometimes. The train leaves in a little while, so you should hurry if you're going to get changed. I'm not really a fan of advertising what school I go to. Ah, can't say I blame you. I'll be ready in two minutes. Ugh, my legs are killing. Who knew the shopping center was so big? You get used to it after a few years. Are you sure you have enough there, Rosie? They're about to close. I do only have this one little bag. But these guys are shopping fiends. I don't think I could ever compete with them. Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Uh, thanks so much for letting me come with you guys. It's been really great. Hmm. You have a good eye for fashion, Rosie. You should come with us next time, too. W wow, you think? Thanks. Anyway, we were going to get the train home, but my brother's on his way back from uni, and I'm sure he won't mind giving us a lift. Really? Uh, will we all fit? It'll be fine. Hmm. I wonder how alike Lamb and her brother are. Maybe he doesn't mince his words either. I want to know, do we recognize him, though? So, come here often, my man. <laughs> so, you say you're an upper six, eh? Uh, yeah, I take a couple of classes with your sister. Hmm. I don't suppose she's mentioned me. She did, but I don't quite think she did you justice. Who knew Lan's brother would be so... built? I guess he doesn't share his sister's love of literature. So, uh... Beck. Beck Bachaku. Beck. Uh, I'm Rosie Cheeks. Rosie, eh? Cute. So you're finishing school soon, right? She's still far too young for the likes of you. Oi, you wanna walk? Because I can stop the car, it's no trouble. Hmm. Uh, Lamb said you were at university, right? Hmm. 
Oh, age ain't nothing but a number, if that's what you're getting at. But yeah, fourth year at North Main Uni. Sooner I graduate, the better, really. I've really got to get out of this dump, you know what I mean? I suppose you've run out of girls? Hey, I don't like to brag. But North Main can only contain these guns for so long, you know what I mean? Can't be stuck here working as your personal taxi service forever. Tell you what, Rosie. As payment for dropping you off like this, you can give me your number. Good deal, right? You are unbelievable. Well... What do I know, like... Answer-wise for this guy, do I know... What do I know? He's hard to please. He likes charm. He likes you to be fashionable. But as far as, like, interacting with him... Do I do, like, ham narcissist back at him? Or do I do, like, the classic I'm dealing with a narcissist route so I need to, like, be different from every other girl that just wants to get with this beautiful face of his? Well, we'll save. And I'll say... Um, I'll go for, like, the classic Otomi trope of, like, I'm different from other girls, and we'll see how that plays out for us. I, I guess it is a long way to drive. I don't usually give my number out to guys I don't know, though. Aw, oh, come off it. What am I going to do with it? Besides, there'll be plenty of chances for us to get, uh, better acquainted. Right. Oh, you're such a lech. If she doesn't want to give it to you, harassing her is not going to change her mind. It's okay, I don't mind. Seriously, though, I'm not going to misuse it. You can trust me, right? Would this face lie to you? Somehow I'm not convinced! <laughs> Gotta make him work for that number a little bit. Sorry, Beck. I love you. But I gotta stick with what I know. Oh, what's up, Merle? You're not looking your usual perky self. Tch. I've got nothing to be perky about. Miss Chalhan's been having a go at me about doing my bit for the school and how as the captain of the netball team, I should be setting an example and wah, wah, wah. Long story short, I've been voting to go into sports day next week. Not that I actually plan to. It's just coming up with a good excuse that's the problem. Isn't it a bit uh, late in the year to be having a sports day? It's practically snowing out there. Eh, it's not true exercise if you're not risking hypothermia or something, I don't know. Do you think you're going to take part? I guess it couldn't hurt. Eh, it's your funeral. You wouldn't mind telling everyone I'm sick once you get there, would you? Something serious, mind. I don't think they're buying my sudden cold excuse anymore. I'll, uh, see what I can do. Sports day, huh? That'll end up being pretty fun. I mean, I'm fit enough, so... That's good. Hey, Dis. Do you want to walk home? Okay, she did. I'm shocked. Now I've got mail. Mock exams. Hi, Rosie. Sorry for the boring email, but I was just wondering whether your revision for the mock exams was going okay. If you need any help, you can always find me at this address. As head girl, I need to help everyone, but obviously I'll make you my first priority. Anyway, I'll be here if you need me. Good luck! Dis. Thank you, Dis. How are we doing with the friends? Ugh, girl, love me, please. Alrighty, six foot two. He's a suave, worldly wise university student and Lamb's older brother. Something tells me he's not the kind of guy you bring home to meet the parents. But we did exchange numbers. And I can't call him until I've got at least a hundred charm and I've got to get like a good outfit and stuff, so. I guess. Oh, what should I do? What to do, what to do, what to do. I guess I can continue to call. Do I have to continue to call? Let me, hold on guys. This is a very complicated route. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. Uh, let's see, do, 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 do. Uh, 
Meet lambs, befriend her while raising your charm. I guess just to be on, it doesn't say I have to max out Lamb's relationship, but maybe I should just to be on the safe side. Question mark. Ah, Lamb and Beck are on the same level on each page. You know, like they're both here. I guess uh, Des and Shupin are on the second page as well. Interesting. Okay, she said yes, good. Thanks, Lamb. Okay, so I've got to start working on our charm like mad. As long as our stuff doesn't go down below 70, we should be good. All right, all right. Before you all dash for the buses, just a quick reminder that mock exams this year take place on the 8th of December, so no excuses for not preparing. Your mocks may not technically be worth anything, but as preparation for your A-level exams in May, it's important that you take them seriously. And as always, low enough results will get you a month's worth of remedial classes. So if you value your Saturdays, you'd best get revising. Wow. Remedial classes for low results? Harsh. I guess I should probably hit the books. Until next time when we don't hit the books, but that's another time entirely. Ugh. I'm just gonna exercise, make sure that stays above. Stay above! Brr! I can't believe this, it's bloody freezing. Whose sadistic idea was it to have sports day in the middle of winter anyway? Ah, oh, you say that now, but there's nothing quite like running laps in the sleet and hail. It really wakes you up, you know? It's invigorating, like. Uh huh. Huh, <laughs> don't worry. After a few events, you won't even be able to feel the- Hypothermia eating its way through my skin? That's comforting. Thanks. There's that cheery optimism again. Just like what I like to see. I'd better be off anyway. Best keep moving. Wouldn't want anything falling off. I'll be cheering for you, Rosie. Uh, thanks. Same to you. Well, here goes nothing. I got the 100 meter sprint up next. Hopefully I won't show myself up too badly. Run, girl, run! Good thing I didn't study charm! Huh. Ugh. My poor lungs. Still, not too shabby, Rosie. At this rate, I'll be a top-ranking athlete in no time. Probably. It's just a shame nobody was here to see it. Oh. Ah, well. No use crying over spilt milk. I'm sure there'll be other times to show off my skills. I'd best get going. There's a javelin over there with my name on it. I don't know, he might have come to watch girls run. He seems like the kind of guy who would do that. Alright. Girl. Okay, good. We've moved up a little bit in affections. I almost called back. That would have ended in disaster. Alright. Um. I guess I should... Uh... I guess I should study just in case. And then continue on the charm. Or not. Relax. Makeup. Make oh. Girl, we need that makeup. Gah, finally home. I thought this day would never end. And ah, uh, my clothes are soaked through. I think I'm do a hot drink and a warm, relaxing... Eh? God, that better not be Merle trying to scrounge more money off me or I'll... Hello? Oh, he's calling me! This is a first ever in this game where I did not call the guy for the first time. This is great. It's about time. I was beginning to think you'd given me a fake number. You got caller ID or what? Hey, you're the one with the withheld number. Um, who is this? Aw, oh, figures. Forgot I still had that on. Still, you can never be too careful, right? Can't believe you've forgotten me already, by the way. And here I am, offering you job opportunities and everything out of the goodness of my heart. Uh, um... Think, Rosie. Which mysterious man? 
have you given your phone number out to lately? Oh, wait, is this Beck? Whoa. <laughs> Every time there's like a new picture of him, I, my heart just stops. And now we get our music. More music. This is great. Even when he calls us, we get his music. I'm glad you finally caught on. It hurts that you've forgotten me so soon, though. I didn't forget you. I just assumed you'd never ring. Anyway, I don't think I mentioned it when we met, but I work at Tide. You know, the boutique in town. Uh, yeah, I know it. The really expensive place? I think some of their jeans are worth more than our house. Well, hey, that leads me on to my next point. If you're strapped for cash, how's about coming down for an interview? It's pretty competitive, but we're hiring at the moment, and my sister recommended you pretty highly. It says you've got the right look. Eh? Me? Really? I mean, I'm really flattered. I guess I've got nothing to lose, right? And Tide is a really nice place. Uh-huh. Think how good it'd look on your CV, too, what with Tide being so hard to get into and all. This is a pretty prestigious position and all I'm offering you here, Cheeks. Okay, okay. I'll give it a shot. Uh, when do you want me down there? Sometime within the next hour would be good. And remember to dress sharp. Uh, uh, but I just got in! <sighs> a little more notice would have been nice. Please tell me I don't have to actually pick clothing. Phew, okay. I'm like, I only have booty shorts and a belly top. <laughs> I can't wear that. Oh my goodness. You know, for a teen fashion boutique, this Thai place sure is serious business. Whoa. Hey, we finally get to see some of this tattoo. Can you just turn to the side and put your arm up a little bit, sir, so I can see that? That'd be great. You'll be fine. To be honest, it's more about the right look than anything else. There's nothing a pretty girl wants more than to have a pretty girl recommending her clothes. Or so I hear. Same goes for guys, of course. Uh, of course. What exactly will I have to do here anyway? Nothing serious. Answer a few questions, look presentable. But not too presentable, if you know what I mean. The boss is a woman. She doesn't quite swing that way. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll vouch for you. So you know. Don't mess up. I feel loads better now, thanks. Hmm, he'll vouch for me? Beck must have some real clout here if he can bend the rules that easily. Why do you so badly want me working here? Back stop, cheeks, Rosie! Gah, here goes nothing. I can't even remember what voice I gave you so long ago. Anyway. Oh, you're one of the ones Beck brought in. I'm guessing you've no papers either, right? That boy certainly makes my job a lot harder. That boy? She barely looks older than I do. Uh, I'm sorry. He said it would be okay if I just turned up. But uh, I have ID and everything if you need it. That's fine. This shouldn't take too long. The milk always rises to the top. Or something. So, my name is Kitchy, and I'm the assistant manager here at Tide. I'm just going to ask you a few questions, okay? Just relax, they're nothing too difficult. Oh, pancake music. To start us off, why did you decide to apply for a job here? Uh, the shop is a major industry. I'm really into fashion and beauty. Oh, aren't we all? What kind of a response is that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, next up. Hmm. It's really important that we get to know the girls we have working here. What would you say your hobbies were? My hobbies are that I should have saved, like, way earlier if I had realized. Uh, my hobbies. <laughs> I mainly enjoy socializing. You know, when I was at school, that was pretty much code for I like getting smashed. Huh. Well, what do you want me to say? I'm quite the intellectual? I gotta know. You might find working here pretty dull. 
Really? That kind of looks like the bookish type to me. Okay. What hap I want to know what happens when you pick the fashion one. Okay, she liked that one. I'm into fashion and beauty for that one. It helps if you enjoy your job, I suppose. Yes. Thirdly, uh, it's always important for our girls to have a wide range of personalities. How would you describe yourself? Um, I'm really diligent and hardworking. Nope. Gosh, I don't know how to read this assistant manager at all. Okay, she likes that. And, um... There we go. Friendly- I'm, I'm friendly and bubbly. Yeah, we prefer our girls to be down to earth. Sounds like you'd fit right in, really. Score. Though, is that just code for everyone here is a slacker? And finally, I guess I should ask you something fashion related. If a customer asked you for a cotton camisole, what would you pick up? A cotton camisole, eh? I'm just gonna, like, re so I don't have to do those two again. Um... Well... This. <laughs> I mean, what else would it be? Here's some underwear! <laughs> That's the one! We don't sell those here anymore! That's one from my personal collection! Should I wash my hands? Well, that'll be all for now. I've still got a few more applicants to deal with, but I shouldn't be too long. Oh, uh, that's fine. Thank you for your time. That didn't go too badly, right? Could have gone a lot worse if I'd had my way. So, how'd you do? Uh, no idea, really. She wasn't very animated. Yeah, and Ketchy's pretty out of it most of the time. Lucky she's got me to handle things behind the scenes, really. That said, she's a damn good designer. She even came up with a few of the lines we're selling here. Suck up enough and she'll probably knock down the price on them, too. I'll, uh, bear that in mind. What do you do here anyway, Beck? I'm getting the impression you're not just one of the shop floor lackeys. Huh, <laughs> me. I'm not sure, officially. Local model come assistant manager, I guess. Ah, oh, Beck, I wish you could have put that any other way. <laughs> wow, you're a model? Huh, you're a surprise. I won't dignify that with a response. Um, you aren't in any of the posters in here, are you? Not at the moment. I was all over this place a few seasons back, though. But don't you worry. We've got this whole spring lineup planned. You won't be able to go five feet without seeing my charming face. Already planning on stalking my new staff, I see. Aw, oh, come on. As if she'd say no to this face. Uh, um, did you say new staff? Sure. To be honest, yours was one of the best interviews we've had all day. Though admittedly, that isn't saying much. Still, I think you might be just what we're looking for. Wow, really? I mean, thank you. Mm-hmm. Just as I expected. You don't disappoint, Cheeks. I'll be expecting great things from you. Aw, you guys. You're making me blush. So what do you say? This is a one-time only offer, so think carefully. Can I expect you back here next Friday? Well, I gladly accept your offer, and I understand now why some of you are like, it was so awkward to turn down this offer after all this. Sheesh. Thanks so much. I think I'm really going to enjoy working here. Glad to hear it. As if there could have been any other answer. Welcome aboard, Cheeks. Of course, you're going to have to buy your uniform, fix your hair, and get your national insurance details to me by Friday. You may have had a good word put in for you, but we can't have any preferential treatment here. Amen to that. Uh, talk about not reading the fine print. And what exactly is wrong with my hair? Your hair is beautiful, girl. Don't ever change that. Don't change that. Acting my age, speaking of. I wish to ask you a question, Rosie. Do you believe wishing to attend the fun fair is childish? I had assumed a fondness for childlike things was rather mature in a way, 
as in our teenage years we are often wont to cast aside such things in order to conform with some ridiculous standard of maturity, one that we later discover existed only in our heads, at which point we are again free to enjoy that which brought us so much pleasure as children. My brother, it seems, does not agree with this logic, and never has, at the numerous times he has ransacked my room and hidden my soft toys and clothes as any indication, and continues to chastise me. Apparently, I continue to refuse to act my age. If there is any point to this rambling email, it is this. I truly wish to visit the fair, and feel I should not be ashamed were I to do so. Surely you agree, Rosie. I do, girl, and I'd go with you. Really. Do you love me more now that I'm working for you? Okay. He works part-time as a model at Boutique Tide, because of course he does, and has enough clout there to land me a job no questions asked, apparently. Rightio. Okay. We do have our charm high enough. Let me just check... Check what's going on. Um... Because I... I need to find out what what is in for December. December cocktail dresses and icy white. Um. Okay. An icy white cocktail dress. La Dauphine. Do I have enough money to even buy that? Hmm. Tough questions. I'll go on a date with Lamb this week, do at least one week of uh, work, see how much money I get, and then maybe I can buy a dress. Eh, something like that. There's gonna be a lot of saves coming. Oy, 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 oy. Mamma mia. Mamma mia pepperoni. But at least we're getting some hot Bex CG, so that makes us all worthwhile. 